So to finish up, we're going to uh, give ourselves the ability to delete any of the pages that we don't want, which is just going to remove them from our database table. So to start with then, we're going to create under admin a new file called delete.php, which makes sense. Let's close off all the other files that we don't need as well. And inside of here, as usual, we require in our start file so we can access our database. And we don't need a view for this because all we're going to be doing is uh, deleting the record and then redirecting the user back to list.php. We need to update list.php, our view, to include the URL to this page. So we echo out our base URL. We go to admin, we go to delete.php. And in here, we're going to, again, specify the ID. So we're going to echo out the page ID. And as usual, we'll escape that just to be careful. So now when I click delete, that goes through to delete.php ID of one, two, and three, as we've seen before. So how do we uh, hook this up so it actually deletes a record? This is uh, pretty straightforward. So over in our logic here, we're going to start by checking if the ID in the query string is set. And if so, we want to delete the record. What we then want to do after that, regardless of whether the, whether the ID was in the query string, we want to redirect the user back to the list page. So we have our base URL again, admin list.php. So when we click on this, then what you can actually see happening here is us being redirected back. So we are hitting the delete page, even though I'm clicking on these, uh, we're just not actually deleting a record. So to delete a record, then we still want a prepared statement because we're passing in that ID into our query. So we still need to be really careful here. We don't just want to execute a query and go ahead and pass this get super global value in. So we're going to say delete page, and this is going to be a prepared statement. And down here, we want to delete from pages where the ID is the ID that we give. And we've seen this before. We execute the query. We pass in the ID and we can pull that straight from that key ID in the get super global array. And that is it. So now we can test this out by deleting a page, another one, and then we delete our final page. And we get our initial error message. On here, we have no content, but by now, now you know how to add a new page, so you can go ahead and do that. So that is our very basic CMS complete. We've looked at quite a few aspects of uh, basic PHP development in terms of interacting with our database, creating records, editing records, setting up our application structure so it makes a little bit more sense than just having a lots of files, lots of large files in one directory. And we have ourselves a mini CMS.